hometown and I love to let people in on its best kept secrets, hotspots and experiences. So with Jetstar I've put together an easy weekend getaway with the must-sees and must-dos of this cultural capital of Australia. Join us for the weekend. I'm so excited to be starting my day with a surf, gonna catch some waves. We got up bright and early to head down to Urban Surf, Australia's first surf park and the only one in the Southern Hemisphere. It's right next to the airport, 16 k's from town, so I'm so excited to jump in. What an amazing morning. Those waves were absolutely cracking. The sun came out, feeling so good. This is such an amazing place to start the day. <laughs> I said I wanted to refuel after a surf and I'm pretty sure Easy's in Collingwood was the right place to come. Look at this spread, enjoying it all in a train on top of a building with an incredible view of Melbourne. You could only get this here. Cheers. We've seen some awesome art in here, but there's also some incredible street art out there and I need to walk this off. So let's go for a little adventure. So for this weekend's getaway, I'll be based out of Melbourne's brand new W Hotel, which everyone has been raving about. I'm so excited about it. I've heard the rooms are pretty spectacular, so I'm about to check in. Come and have a sneak peek. Wow, look at this room. What an amazing way to see our beautiful city. I grabbed some girlfriends, we jumped on a go boat, which you can hire without a boat license. You can have up to eight people and it's BYO. So we're gonna kick back here for the afternoon. Cheers. <laughs> what an afternoon. This is the life. <laughs> So we've come inside to warm up at Ballers Clubhouse and we're going to throw some darts, play some ping pong and have some fun. I love Melbourne's graffiti. It's so colourful and vibrant. This city is ever changing. I feel like you just think you've gotten to know it and then you stumble across something new. We're here at Bodega Underground for dinner. I'm about to crack into their signature Tommy Margarita that I added chili to for a spicy margs. There's a hundred mezcals behind the back barges here. We've got fish tacos coming and the entire menu is gluten free. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh my God, this looks amazing. The Curious Bar in Melbourne is the perfect place to end your night. Oh my god! <gasps> That's amazing. So excited. I'm so much warmer too. <laughs> it is absolutely breathtaking. What a special way to start the morning. Very 
lucky in Melbourne to balloon over the city. It's the only city in the world of this size that you could actually commercially balloon over. I'm not usually awake for sunrise, but now I realise I've been missing out. I would start every day like this if I could. <laughs> so invigorating. Perfect way to end the experience with a delicious breakfast. Cheers. Nice and subtle. If you've got a spare afternoon, the NGV is such a special place to spend some time. As Australia's oldest art gallery, it has everything from local artists to international blockbuster exhibitions and is always such an amazing way to spend a few hours. I think we're looking at the largest stained glass ceiling in the world. It is so beautiful. I could look at this for hours. Typical Melbourne, <laughs> there's laneways and bars and alleyways everywhere, but this is a bar inside another bar and you have to find a book to get entry. So let's go find a book. <laughs> How very Melbourne to have all this hidden away, tucked away in a basement. What a beautiful place for a date or even a little nightcap. What a magical way to finish our weekend getaway with some private dining at the aquarium. I hope you guys enjoyed and got some inspiration for your next trip. Oh my gosh, that is incredible.